Okay, I just want to explain to you what I'm seeing here. This is a failed fitting right here. This is where we saw the leak from the inside. This is that strut that we were seeing from the inside right here. And this is where the leak was spraying up at. And uh, as I could wiggle this, I could see this, this fitting right here had failed. And, um, and so I'm going to replace this fitting and uh, maybe even that one, see what i got to do to make all this stuff work out. But uh, I'm going to replace it with tech. But clearly it's the plastic fitting that's failed, not the pipe. Okay, what I've built here is a, um, is a new piece out of PEX. I've crimped it together using PEX fittings, three-quarter inch over here, set down to half inch, half inch T, and this will mount onto my existing uh, polybutyl. Uh, the trick here is I've built up this piece, and I've left these tails long on purpose. I'm gonna, my polybutyl, I'm going to cut it um, at a certain spot, and then I'll cut this to fit, just in case I have to trim my polybutyl back because I get a bad cut, I'll trim this one last. So I left these long on purpose, and I'll put the fittings on after that. Let me show you these special fittings. You need these fittings here. This is uh, something I picked up from uh, Ace Hardware. This is a, a conversion kit from polybutyl on this side to PEX on this side. And you can notice on the, on the adapter, these rings are a little further apart. I don't know if you can see this very well with this camera, but... These rings are further apart than these. So this is the PEX side. It has the gold uh, coupling on it, gold ring. And this is the polybutyl side. It has a, they're closer together. It has the black ring. And I'm going to use one of these adapters for each place where I adapt onto the polybutyl. For each one of these four. And this is a half inch size. So this is half inch. Okay, I'm back over at the repair site. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the polybutyl as close as I can here and here and here and here, and if those cuts go well, then I'll trim back my manifold piece to fit, my replacement piece to fit right into the, the gap that I have left. If my cut goes bad here for some reason because the pipe is brittle or whatever, then I can cut back a little bit more and a little bit more and still have room with my new piece to trim it to the exact fit. So I'm going to go ahead and make those cuts now. Okay, I've got this all crimped in now. Everything's been checked with the go, no-go fitter fitting. And let me show you that right here. This is a little tool that you use when you're crimping down pecs and, um, and polybutylene. It's a, called a go-no-go no go, um, tester. And um, it fits on the go side, like this, goes on, and doesn't fit on the no-go side, then you're in good shape. So I went and I checked to make sure I crimped them all down by using that fitting, that tester. Everything's crimped. The water's back on. I checked for leaks. Nothing's leaking. Everything's dry. So, uh, so we're good. Everything's crammed back on. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and close up the hole now.